Now, away they go from the 1400 meter mark, and not a bad beginning this one. Mr. Harry, one of the first out of the gates. Parva's right there in the orange, goes off to lead them. Captain's Vistas near the rail. Battle in Seattle scored three or four deep. Puccini's among the leading group. They're followed by Joshua's answers along the inside running rail. Fantasy Arts racing about four or five lengths off the lead at this stage. Let's go west around horses. Then Special Encounter. They're followed by August Jet. Pyrenees in Spain is about seven or eight lengths off them. The Gobi's the trader. And it's Mr. Harry, just the leader. Battle in Seattle, second. Parvi the Orange is at the rail, then Puccini. Around them is Let's Go West, followed by Fantasy Art. Near the rail, Joshua's answer. Further back, Special Encounter and Captain's Vista. Top of the lane, and Mr. Harry brings them in. Battle in Seattle, the first one to challenge. The Let's Go West, Parv, Puccini, and then Joshua's answer, and Fantasy Arts running on. 300 to go, Let's Go West sets the front. Down the inside of that one is Mr. Harry, Parv on the inside. Towards the outside, Pyrenees in Spain's running on. Fantasy Arts also getting into the race, it's wide open. Fantasy Art, Parv, Battle in Seattle, here's Argos Jet. Argos Jet coming home late, they hit the line. Oh, I think Fantasy Yard. Fantasy Yard from Argos Jet, but it's close. Very, very close call. Fantasy Art is the leader. There was an absolute stampede getting the last 75 meters or so. But I think number one, Fantasy Art, the toad favorite, will just make it home. So that's Fantasy Art in front. And Argos Jet with the blue blinkers comes on from absolutely nowhere. And Argos Jet is really taking off in the latter stages. Number nine, Fantasy Art. The rider, did he lose his reins there? I think they win it though. That, well, we missed the finish there. I don't know. I can't see it exactly. Yeah, but on that, Fantasy Art has just made it home. Second goes to Argos Jet. Special encounter in the photo with Joshua's answer. That is third, fourth. Then let's go west. Pav, Puccini, Pyrenees in Spain, Mr. Harry, followed by Captain's Vista, the Gobi, and then came Battle in Seattle. We'll take a look at that head on shortly. Lyle Ewerton is riding at the top of his game and he waits on Fantasy Art. And this is the Australian Tony Rivlin. Mary Lyle gets a narrow split and takes off. And Argos Jet has still got many lengths to make up fourth the right with the blue blinkers. And it's Fantasy Art the leader. And on the outside, Argos Jet. Just look at Fantasy Art. Does he drop his reins at the line? They get to the line. Yeah, just loses his reins, but... and. On the line, luckily, and wins it by that nostril. So Fantasy Art has won it. Second goes to Argos Jet, Special Encounter, third. Toad favorite, the winner at 3 Rand 40. The eighth and last is also on the poly. Back to the studio. Yeah, consistency rewarded with number one, Fantasy Art. Ten, trainer Tony Rivelin, for Mrs. Lyle. Nice to have her on course. And Lyle Hewitson. 61 on his back, but the claim two and a half has helped as well. But more importantly, uh, a tremendous ride with the young man. Yes, Dees is a very talented rider. He's got a bright future ahead of him. And um, well done to him. The, now, I thought there might be a bit of pace on in this race. And um, he had him in a beautiful position. But he turned for home. I could see they're all bunching up, going a little bit towards the inside. And uh, for a while, he, he was just battling to find a gap, you know. But once he got one, he managed to get through. Um, he's a genuine horse, Dees. He's not that good. But at least he's genuine. He tries every time he comes here. Um, he's been creeping up every time he runs second. He gets a few pounds from the handicap, but doesn't make it easy. He's nearly five, and this is only his second win. So well done. It, it, um, well done to Mary, and um, I'm really pleased for the horse and the groom. Well, you said it all, Tony. Well done to your team as well. Thank you, Dees. Fantastic. Let's get Lyle in. He's put one on the board, our good friend Lyle, and it's the main one because it gives you bragging rights in the jockey's room and amongst the apprentices, and it was a close finish. I think you hit the, the front at the right time. That's what won you the race. Yes, sir. You know, actually coming to the straight, um, there was a small gap, but I didn't want to break those the stride, so I thought, let's just go for it, and we, we'll squeeze through there. And, um, a little bit hesitant, but as we popped through, you know, this horse gave me a good kick and, and went on with it. And just inside the last 100, 150, started to labor, and I pulled my stick through to my right and gave it one more, and he got his head down at the right time. So I think a courageous win, and well done to the whole team. You know, Mr. Rivlin brought it back a furlong, and I think that was the right move today. 
it looked pretty close uh, watching it on the monitor because Tristan was coming at you. Um, yeah, no, uh, Serena, Serena. Serena, yes. Um, to be honest, I, I thought that would that also would run a big race though, especially in the pace we do go in these happy races. Um, so I knew that I, I had to ride strong to the line because they were going to be flying at me. And um, to be fair, I, I didn't didn't know whether I got up, but um, I gave myself the benefit of the doubt. Um, and I'm just grateful the result came through like this. In your young career, you're getting used to the colours and you'll get to know the owners. Now, Mrs. Lyle, uh, I'm sure she needs little introduction. You would have followed her career as an owner and really ride, nice to ride one for her. Yes, a stalwart of the game. And just when I walked into the ring, uh, she just said to me, I I'd like you to, to ride a few more for me. So, yeah, what a privilege, you know, for, for a big owner and a person like Mrs. Lyle to say that. Um, I really appreciate it. Well, you can go and buy a, a young Serena Coke for beating him on the line. Yeah, I know. I think I should. Thank you very much. <laughs> well done, Lyle. Thank you. Well, let's get Mrs. Lyle in, and uh, nice to have her on course. And as Tony mentioned, Mrs. Lyle, uh, you know, he's a hard-knocking individual, and good to see him rewarded this evening. Yes, he's been very unlucky, but he's a nice horse, and uh, at least we had the best jockey. And this young kitty he looks to have a bright future. You, you must have seen a lot of the apprentices come to their yes, ranks. Yes, yes. I've been saying that he's going to be our next champion. And how's the things going at the sales? The sales were recently. Have you bought, Mrs. Lyle? I bought in January, but I didn't buy at the other sales, no. Well, really nice to have you on course. And for being here today, we've got Zanele representing Betting World. And he's got a 500 Rand betting voucher to you. So well done. Wow. <laughs> Spend it wisely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I Thanks. Like before, <laughs> <laughs> nice to have Mrs. Lyle on course. And that's uh, Zanele. He's the international promotions manager handing over that 500 Rand betting voucher uh, to Mrs. Lyle. And uh, it got pretty close, but 1, 9, 2, and 8, that's the way they posted the numbers. Race number 7.